Howdy, Andy Murphy, your rock and roll shaman. So we made it through April. Congratulations. Welcome to the other side. And we find ourselves in May. I thought it was going to be a bit more triumphant, but it feels almost slightly more exhausting to me. So Spirit suggested that we gather here together today to talk and to call in some angels and helpers who will assist us and regaining that energy and in being the pillars upon this planet that they've asked us to be. Things are heating up. Duh. <laughs> Not surprising for those of us living it, right? Awareness is a hard thing. Being present, mindful, cognizant, aware, conscious, call it what you will. It's a really challenging thing for a lot of us because it takes so much and it feels like the world is just waiting, cracking, aching to shift and is not knowing how. So those of us who form this golden web of light, it's up to us to continue to keep our vibrations high, to keep our thoughts positive, and not doing so from a wishy-washy new age stance, but from the place of reclaiming that mastery, of being the ones on the planet who we've been asked to be. And we've seen an interesting shift here lately, and I don't think that I've talked about this yet. What we're being asked to do is shift out of the place of um, God is here and we are here, and we're now allowed to be equals. Doesn't come with iconic ideas, doesn't come with us being greater than God, nor does it come from ego, but it comes from us being living masters on this planet right now. We are the ones who have been here, we have one, are the ones who have incarnated through the life cycles, we are the ones who chose to come into physical form in this day and age. So, we get some say. That doesn't mean that we're gonna tell God, Gaia, the Galactic Federation what to do, but it does mean that we can inform them of what we think is best, of what we think needs to be done, so that we have an active voice in holding up that golden net web, right? So as you saw with um, the Malaysian flight, wow, was that a disaster averted? Could have been World War III. And it wasn't because there are enough of us on the planet saying, nope, that's not what we need right now. World War III starting is not what we need right now. So in our mindfulness practices, in connecting and telling the universe what it is that we need on this planet, not from a place of begging and pleading, but from a place of, I'm reclaiming that level of authority. I get some say on what happens on this planet because I've been the one earning it. We shifted it. So nice job on that. And if you need to read some David Wilcock, <laughs> go down that rabbit hole. Um, do so with caution. Do so with open eyes. Do so without any fear mongery in it because that's not going to serve us right now. So no fear. Awareness helps so that we can participate in that golden net. So all of that being said, I've had some lessons on mastery already, but let's ask them to come in. Give me one moment. to share what it is that we need now. Ah, thank you. They're telling me that we need to clear our throat chakras. Interesting. So clearing our throat chakras, they're directing from this occipital at the back of the neck, right? We have that little divot back there where um, C1 can sometimes go. It's also known as the major alta chakra. Sometimes comes in with a halo. That's not me <laughs> creating a halo. Sometimes the major ultra chakra, once we get it up and going, comes in looking like a halo. So, cool. Um, but they're saying that we need to almost clear oh, that whole thing. So let's see if we can find the tone that will do that for us in this day and time. Toning, Tom Kenyon will teach other great sound healers as well. Toning is going to be that sound, that vibration that when in the physical body moves stuff out. So they're asking us to tone from the back to the front, this whole channel, um, because we have a lot of thought forms that are bumping around right now, right? Um, we have thoughts that are not ours. We have beliefs that are not ours. We have indoctrinations that we may not necessarily agree with. We have agendas that are manipulated around us all the time with television TV commercials about how sick you are. Have you noticed? We aren't sick. <laughs> There's all kinds of thought forms trying to tell us what we are, and we're not. So um, with our mindfulness, we're becoming aware of it. With our psychic, spiritual, fully embodied work, we're bringing it into physical form, bringing it into bodies. So now let's figure out a way to release this because I really like what they're coming in with. So the tone. For each of us, we will find a different tone. 
I'm sure it's really attractive when I do it too. So um, never you mind that. You just try to go and find your own tone. Um, the one that I'm working with right now, it almost feels like my tongue is kind of coming further back into my mouth. Um, but it feels ugh, like there's something here that's trying to get out. That's what I want you guys to work with. Find the tone that works for you. <laughs> And whenever I do this, I can almost feel like a band around my neck. Um, the powers that be don't really want us to speak up. You must know that too, right? So our speaking up isn't an act of terrorism. <laughs> it's certainly not an act of outward defiance, but it's an act of reclaiming ourselves. Makes me all tense through here too. So clearly, that for me is something that I need to work on. What did your tone sound like? Could you feel anything going on through here that needed to be shifted? Um, we're also going to ask now, so practice the toning on your own because it's an important piece. The other thing that we're going to ask for now is for an Ascended Master. Of course, Serapis Bay is stepping right forward. to clear this for us. <coughs> Clearly mine's coming in with some coughing. But see, and I'm trying to find the color of blue that he's coming in with. Sapphire blue, there we go. There's a sapphire blue light that he's shining through my throat to clear it. You may even hold your hands. I know it wants to go front and back, doesn't it? To assist. And I want you to see inside of your throat, once it's cleared, a sapphire taking up all of this space and make it multifaceted so that we have truth that comes out from us from every point. Thank you. They're calling this uh, Serapis Bay. It's calling this the Reclamation of Truth. The steps again are the toning, the clearing, and then the embracing of that sapphire multifaceted gemstone within throat. Ooh. A reclamation of truth. Very nice. So thank you for practicing with me. I encourage you to continue practicing on your own. This was not something, um, as I find with a lot of the work that comes through here, this isn't something that I have on a little cheat sheet. This was, when we ask spirit, they always answer. And I hope you know that too. When you ask spirit, they always answer. It's sometimes our filters and our limiting views that don't allow us to hear, but they're always there. They will always answer. So create some time to receive what it is that you need. And if this throat chakra clearing proves helpful, hallelujah, we're on this planet to heal. Expand our light, do so safely, and be the brilliance that you've been asked to be here. If I can help, find me online, YouTube, Facebook, Rock and Roll Shaman, <sighs> and have fun out there.